we've got to stop and think about all of the different types of wireless frames that you might see out there. We've got to stop and think about, okay, how exactly does Wi-Fi work? How does 802.11, that's the name of the protocol, how exactly does 802.11 work? And to really understand that, let's start digging into some of these different types of, of frames that you'll see in Wi-Fi. There's, uh, there's three different main types of frames that you'll see. You'll see management frames, control frames and data frames. And, uh, and we're going to demo IEPA coming up here pretty quick. There's actually a really awesome cheat sheet for all these different types of frames. So here's a frame, or here's a frame type, a management frame, and then here's the subframe types like beacons and probe requests. If you don't remember what all this is off the top of your head, there's a cheat sheet built into IEPA that I'll show you a little bit later on. So let's dive in and let's take a look at, at, at uh, at uh, management frames first. What do management frames do first? Well, I hate to be the guy that reads off the slides, but man, I can't put it any better than this. Management frames manage stations joining and leaving wireless networks. So they help stations join and leave wireless network. The most common type of management frame is a beacon. A beacon is just a, a, a continual announcement of an access point's existence. So um, let's say that uh, let's say let's say I'm on my Mac, on my Mac right now. Let's say that you open up the Wi-Fi menu to see which networks are nearby. We know about those networks because of beacons. Every access point sits there and continually beacons to let that network or other devices nearby know that it's there. So for example, uh, at home, my access point at home will sit there and go, hey, I'm Joel's network, I'm here, I support these data rates, I support this type of encryption. Hey, I'm Joel's network, I'm here, I support these types of data rates, I support uh, this type of encryption. And it just continually announces that it's there by transmitting those beacons. And so when you open up the networks menu on your iPhone and you see the list of networks, we know all of those are there because of beacons. The next type of subframe is a probe. Uh, a probe is kind of the opposite of a beacon in that when you connect to a network, your phone or your laptop or your tablet or whatever, it remembers that network. And so let's say that I'm at home and I leave the off or I leave the home and I head to work. And I'm in the elevator at work and the whole time that I'm driving to work, my phone is sitting there going through the list of networks that it's connected to in the past. It's, it's going, hey, MetaGeek, are you there? Hey, Joel's Network, are you there? And it's just going to continually do that. It's going to continually probe for, uh, probe for familiar networks. And once I'm going up the elevator at work and it goes, hey, MetaGeek, are you there? MetaGeek will reply and say, yes, I'm MetaGeek, I'm here. And then we start that process of getting authenticated to the network and then getting associated, getting tied into our network. So beacons, probes, authentication, and association frames are all management frames, and they all help stations join and leave wireless network. Now, the next type of frame is a control frame. What do control frames do? Well, they control the RF, that's the radio frequency medium, and they aid in the delivery of other frames. So the first type of control frame, the most common, is an ACK. Now, do you remember when we talked about the half-duplex nature of Wi-Fi? You remember that at the beginning of the webinar, and we also talked about it in the spectrum analysis webinar, how we send data and then we reply with an ACK or an acknowledgement? That's exactly what this is. An ACK is just a reply to say, yep, I received this frame. So we send data, and then we send back an ACK to say, yep, I received this frame. Now, that takes a long time, right? Going data, ACK, data, ACK, data, ACK, data, ACK, right? You have to spend a lot of time saying ACK. And so... So block acknowledgments were one improvement that was made mandatory with 802.11n. Now uh, block acknowledgments basically acknowledge a block of, of data frames all at the same time. So instead of going data acknowledgement, data acknowledgement, data acknowledgement, data acknowledgement, we can go data, 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 acknowledgement, data, 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 acknowledgement, right? It starts sounding a lot like a system of a down song. So with block acknowledgments, we can acknowledge a block of data frames all at the same time. Now, uh, there's a couple more that are part of control frames that are kind of fun, RTS and CTS, and these ones are very, very closely tied together. RTS stands for request to send, and CTS stands for clear to send, and so we can use this to request some time to send and to, and to send a, a reply saying, yes, you are ready to go. You are clear to send, and so... Uh, Let's talk about let's talk about for a moment exactly what this means and what this looks like. And to do this, I'm going to draw some stick figures. All right, so get ready for some amazing uh, mouse and keyboard art here. So at the MetaGeek office, uh, our old office, we moved into a new office about a year ago. But back in our old office, we had a uh, we had a floor plan kind of like this. We had a kitchen right here, and uh, and there was like a sink right here and a fridge right here. And at MetaGeek, they, they keep the fridge. They kind of keep it stocked full of snacks and stuff and stuff. And in case you forget your lunch and things like that. There's some fruit and things there, which is pretty nice. And uh, our IT guy, his name is Rich, he was sitting out here 
at his desk. So there's Rich, uh, there's Rich sitting behind his desk. And standing here in the doorway was our reseller manager, Lael. And I'm sorry, rather, Lael was over here by the, uh, by the fridge, and I was standing in the door. Now, Rich and Lael, they couldn't see each other, right, because there was a wall between them, but they could both see me. And so all of a sudden, at the exact same time, they both asked me a question. They both started asking me a question at the exact same time. And I had to go, whoa, 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 hey, Rich, hey, Lael, you guys got to, uh, you, you're both talking at the same time. I can't understand you at the same time. This happens in Wi-Fi as well. If I was an access point and Rich and Lael were both were both Wi-Fi devices, if they can't see each other, if they can't hear each other, there's a possibility that they might both start talking at the same time. And that's where request to send and clear to send comes in. in. So maybe if Lael had said, um, if she had said, hey Joel, can I ask you a question? And then I would have replied saying, yes, you can ask me a question. That's like sending a clear to send. And that alerts Rich that he needs to be quiet for a moment so that Lael and I can have a conversation. That's exactly what RTS and CTS do. A device will say, hey, can I send right now? And then the access point might, might reply, yes, you are clear to send. And that lets everything else on the channel know, hey, we're having a conversation right now. Be quiet for just a few seconds. So that's what RTS and, uh, and CTS do. A stick figure art's pretty good, huh? So the last type of frame is a data frame. Now, uh, this one's kind of obvious. Data frames carry higher level protocol data. This is the whole reason why we have wireless networks at all, is for data frames. These are the frames that actually carry the data, and these are also the only frames that make it onto the Ethernet side of the network. The management frames and the control frames, they get dropped at the access point. We don't care about those. The data frames, the contents of the data frames, which is packets, are the only thing that gets carried through to the Ethernet side of the network and out to different parts of the network or out on the Internet or what have you. So there's three different types of data frames. First off, there's a, well, well you know, a data frame. That's just a standard old frame. And then there's a quality of service data frame. This is a data frame that's got some quality of service data attached to it. And this allows us to prioritize certain data frames over other data frames. So for example, uh, let's say that uh, we've got a couple of users on the same wireless access point. One of, them, one of them is browsing Facebook, and one of them is doing a FaceTime call. Now, which one of those things is more important to get the, the packets delivered reliably and more quickly on? The FaceTime call. We've all been on a, a voice over IP call where the connection got kind of hazy or something like that, and the person on the other end starts sounding like a robot, right? That's what happens when we stop delivering packets in a consistent and timely manner. What quality of service data frames allow us to do is they allow us to put a priority tag on those frames. And so we can say, uh, if we're looking at a few different frames that, are, that need to be transmitted across the air, the access point can look at this frame and go, you know what, that's just a background frame. That frame is just Facebook. We don't care about that. It's okay if it takes a second longer. However, this frame, uh, this frame is a big deal. This is like uh, this is a, a data frame, or this is a, a voice data frame. We need to get that one transmitted first. And so, quality of service data frames allow us to prioritize those. And then the last type of data frame isn't really a data frame at all. It's a null data frame. These are used for things like power save poles and things like that. They don't actually carry data, so they're not really a data frame. But uh, there just wasn't anywhere else to put them, and so they ended up being classified as a data frame.